So what's up? I'm back here with the wagon and today we're gonna be throwing on some cheap coilovers. So let's see how that goes. Give you my opinions, my thoughts. Uh, let's see, let's get to it. So what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, real quick, if you're watching the video, can you just press the like button? Um, I wanna try to get the likes up there. It helps the channel, helps the algorithm, you know? But what we're gonna be doing today is messing with the daily, the wagon, the one that was supposed to stay stuck. We got some coilovers for it. Um, so let's get it installed. Let's see how low we can make the wagon. So this is stuck right now. Kind of an idea. Really high. There we go, finally. Now let me jinx myself. Got it out of the fork. Let's see if it drops it out. There we go. One thing I did notice, since these struts don't have See, this one has the holes for the uh, strap bar on top, the brace. This one does not. So, I guess I'm gonna lose that. That's what you get for 300 bucks. So, for the 300 bucks coilovers, you get to remove your sway bar, uh, your sway bar, um, and then this hole, if it focuses, I don't know. Yeah, that one wasn't lining up perfect, so I had to oval it out a little bit to be able to get the uh, strut to sit. There we go, that's the last bolt for this side. It was getting me so mad, but I had to oval it out with the drill bit, with the Christmas tree bit a little bit. Yeah, let's see, let's put this on. So there it is, all installed. You also, <laughs> You lose a lot of stuff, apparently. You lose the bracket that holds the, I think this is the ABS um, sensor. But there you go, it's installed. I preloaded it. Oh, five millimeters of preload. Um, but yeah, let's see how it sits. That's literally maxed out. It might be too low, I think, looking at it, but I guess we'll find out now. <laughs> I went too low. Oh, fuck. Hold up. Uh, <laughs> I think I went a little too low. Looks good, but definitely not driving that shit like that every day. That's the front. I think <laughs> it's literally just sitting on the top bar because it's uh, maxed out way too low. You can see there. Another the back stock. Looks good. If it was on air. So I was doing the rear, and um, this thing has a whole bunch of ten uh, tension. I don't have a spring compressor, nor do I have a pry bar. And I took the bolts out, I was able to take the bolts out. And <laughs> I can't put it back in, because I was gonna just um, put, it, put, it, put it back, and I was gonna drive to the shop. But I can't even put that bolt back in, so I'm gonna just, um, Leave it without a bolt, drive it to the shop, which is not far, it's like a 10 minute, um, not even, if there's no traffic, a 10 minute drive um, to get help on that. But the fronts are way too low. I think it's sitting just on the uh, upper arm. So I'm gonna raise that real quick and then wait to go to the shop and get the rear installed. So I was going to the shop to finish, you know, the rear of the wagon, but we got detoured. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna go do Florida things. We're gonna take the skis out. Um, they're not mine, they're my cousins. 
Um, he called me, he's like, oh, let's take the skis out. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm off tomorrow so I can finish the car tomorrow. So let's go. We're in the water. Take it off, aceléralo. So we're done, uh, back, uh, done for the day at least. Super fun. And then tomorrow, gonna finish installing the rear struts. Uh, gonna take it to the shop now so I can do the rear. And look how low this is. Yeah, I put it in drive and just let it coast. Is it in drive? No way. E brake, e brake. Go slower. Angle. Like yeah. But you can't turn the wheel all the way. I can't be trusted. Which way? This way, baby. I said this way. He said, yeah. No, no, this way. Turn the wheel. This way. Yeah, get it angled as much as you can. There, that's it. Can't your friend bring you a jack? Too much work. Hey, stop. Now go back. This way. Put it in reverse. I'll go front, but angle it more. This way. this way, babe. Try to get parallel. You're good. You're good. This is gonna be fun to drive. All right, where you going, girl? You liking the low life too much? This is gonna be fun to drive. drive. Never understood the whole static is life thing. Listen. I don't know if you can hear it on video. I don't know how they are, you know, static everything, static this, static that. I don't know how those people do it. This shit is... I don't even like how it sounds. Like, why would I want to drag my car? Even though it's just the plastic in the bottom, why would I want my car to sound like that when it's driving? That's disgusting. I put the dampening all the way up to try to limit the bounce. That shit looks scary. So not this outta. You know.
and then you see so I got the strut in or not me but what the fuck and but there's a gap there you can kind of see it there so I'm just gonna either put washers in between or tighten it till the so the arm closes. I'm trying to get a good angle. Whatever. Point being is that it's wider than the stock strut, so I'm just gonna either tighten this so that it closes and it's nice and tight with the bolt. Oh, and it didn't bring the nuts or the new replacement screw, so I had to get a replacement uh, nut and bolt to put that through. It's not official until it's on the rack, right? Perfect daily height. This is the final height that is going to be. It's tucking the tire just a little, little, little bit, barely. Same thing on the front. So it's that height. Looks pretty good.